thank you for joining me on Amazon Live. If you're coming over from TikTok, you're gonna to wanna to tap the three dots in the upper right hand corner, open your browser so that you can shop in your Amazon app. That's a lot easier for you. It's gonna take you um, to the app so that you're logged in, making it easier to shop. And if you're coming over from Instagram or TikTok, the shop button is gonna be around this area. If you tap that, you'll be able to see all the items I'm talking about. So if I sent you over here, the item that you're looking for is going to be in the item carousel, tap shop and then scroll to find what you're looking for. Also, if you don't like the style or the color that I'm showing, just keep in mind that once you click the product in the carousel, it's gonna take you to the product page and then you can decide what color, what size, style, things of that sort. Um, thank you for joining me on Amazon Live, guys. We have one click on this sweatshirt. I've been eyeballing this one for a minute. I've been seeing a couple people wear it, and I love the way that it looks, so I decided to make the purchase. Oh, I think we got something on it. I also got some bacon grease on it earlier, so we have a little stain. But I use the Grandma's Stain Remover, and I swear it gets everything out, so I wasn't even worried when I dropped bacon on it. What's going on? It looks like these shorts are on sale today, too, for 16 bucks. How freaking cute. They kind of remind me of the Sophie shorts that we used to wear back in the day if you're a 90s baby. Um, I did size up in these just because I wanted more of like an oversized fit. Hi, Christina. I can't wait to meet with you today. What's going on? I know the sweater is so cute. I was back and forth for a couple weeks whether to get it or not. And I finally made the jump. Um, I was kind of between this one and a navy blue. I think the navy blue still had the pink logo on it, but it is super cute. So in both pieces, I went with a medium. I was just saying I got some bacon grease on it earlier, but I'm going to use grandma's stain remover that you told me about. Love that stuff. So I wasn't even worried. I was like, oh, bacon grease, whatever. Grandma will get it out. Um, so these remind me of like those Sophie shorts back in the 90s that we used to wear. They have kind of come up a little bit on the side and then the back is long, which I love. They're so cute, very comfortable, perfect for spring and summer. Thank you so much for the follow, Mindy. Happy to have you here. Um, functional drawstring, which we love, and just really comfortable. Oh, also pockets. We love pockets. So there's a pocket on both sides. I should probably highlight it. So it's on sale right now, 16 bucks. Normally, I think it's 26, but it looks like there's a lightning deal. I know, Grandma's is a lifesaver. If you guys have never tried Grandma's, what is it called, Christina? Christina's the one that showed it to me. I have a thread hanging off. Let me pull it. Um, oh, it wasn't even stuck. Uh, what is it called exactly? Can we give the exact name, Christine? I think it's like grandma's spot remover. She showed me that product and I'm telling you, it will get any stain, any stain out of your clothes or any kind of fabric that you have. Hi, JR, what's going on? Good morning, happy Monday. Um, this morning was a struggle. We got some clicks going on. It looks like you guys are really interested in this oversized pullover. I'm wearing it in a medium, so I did size up. I was actually thinking about getting a large because I wanted an even bigger fit, but I was like, sometimes large looks a little sloppy on me. So I wanted to get one that I can, um, well, I'm gonna travel in a couple weeks. So I was like, I kind of want to wear it on the airplane. I don't want to look too sloppy. What's going on, JR? Okay, so let me tell you the sizes for this one. Again, I'm wearing medium for reference. Hi, thank you for joining me on Amazon Live. My name's Darren, if you're just not hopping in. Um, okay, so this sweatshirt comes in a bunch of really cute colors. You have a brown color, look how cute that is. If you click the product, it's gonna take you over to the product page, okay? So you can select the color you want. I almost got this one. That one's really cute. This, the blue with the pink shorts, I feel like would look really cute. The shorts are in the carousel too. Um, we have a really pretty green, baby blue color. Ooh. And it, goes from size small through extra large. Uh, machine wash, hand, oh, it says machine wash and then it says hand wash only. I machine wash everything. I don't have time to hand wash anything. Who does that? Do you guys hand wash your things? I don't do that. Even if it says to, I just risk it all and I just put it in the washer. I'll hang dry a lot of things, but even then, sometimes I get kind of lazy. Grandma's secret spot remover. You guys check it out if you need a good stain remover. I was talking about how I got bacon grease on my sweatshirt earlier and I wasn't even worried because Christina showed me grandma's secret spot remover and that stuff is amazing. It's on Amazon. Um, but yeah, bunch of cute colors. It says um, sizes small through extra large and I'm wearing a size medium. This is the fit. The sleeves are nice and long. So if you are taller, you should be good. So I have a 
bunch of fabric on the arm area still left. And then the short, oh, I didn't have it highlighted. There, I just highlighted the sweatshirt. And then the shorts, we're kind of a mess this morning, every day actually. The shorts, size medium, very comfortable, functional drawstring. We have pockets on the side. Is there a black? Let's see if there's a black, Christina. There is a black. It's black and pink. I love the pink. Ooh, look at this one. That one is cute too. I was between this and the blue and the one I got. So it's kind of back and forth. Also, I was kind of back and forth because I made a video. I was back and forth on whether to wear these shorts or this biker short sports bra set, but I ended up going with the shorts. I just felt like it was a little bit more comfortable. And then we have cushion air slides. I love slides. I live for slides. Um, I own probably about five pairs of shoes from cushion air. I have a dupe that's for, uh, what am I thinking of? What are the sandals called? Do you know what I'm talking about Christina? I can't think of the name right now. They're like leather. They kind of look like this. I don't know. But though they run like a hundred bucks, but the cushion air version is like 20 bucks. So these are 24. Um, they have adjustable straps if you want to loosen them or tighten them, which I love because I have a wide foot. So I tend to need my shoes a little looser just so they're more comfortable. Um, I am normally a size six and a half, seven, and I went with a seven. They fit really nicely and they're comfortable. I'm wearing them with socks. Let me show you. This is the outfit. I kind of had slides like this before. Actually, it was by Cushion Air. I had slides by Cushion Air. I had them for a couple years and then I recently got these. Same material, um, just a different style. Okay, now I have a couple wedding guest dresses in here. We're kind of doing a little bit of everything in here because I have been making Instagram reels and this is just the kind of like the order that I've gone in. So last week, Josh and I went on a date night for our anniversary. I got some pictures in this dress. It was actually, it was absolutely, that's what I'm trying to say, stunning. So it's a midi one shoulder dress with a cutout area. I don't know if you can see it. And then it kind of tapers off to the right. It has like a little slit here. And then it's a one shoulder type deal, like I said. If you're wondering what type of bra to wear with this, you can definitely wear a strapless. It's very stretchy. Um, I ordered it in a size small. On the side, you have a zipper that goes down so you could easily put it on. Hold on, let me kind of hard to do this with it not hanging up. So the zipper comes down to so easily put it on. This is the same brand. This is Pretty Garden. I own a few pieces by, actually both dresses, both wedding guest dresses are by Pretty Garden. Um, but yeah, very stretchy. I ordered it in a size small and it comes in a bunch of really nice colors. I think there's two different styles as well, but I do like the long sleeve look because I'm always cold, so I feel like this is perfect for me. Um, and then another wedding guest dress idea is this green one, which I wore to dinner last night. We went out to a nice steak dinner. It was so cute. Again, I got some pictures. I'm gonna post them on Instagram so you guys can see. Um, we have like button details in the front, a little bit of like a puffed sleeve comes in at your wrists, and then it has this tie. A lot of silk ties tend to slip down if you don't have this side hoop, but it does have the loop there. So it goes in there and it does stay up. And the length was perfect. It just hit right above my knees. For reference, I'm 5'2". Um, I like to tell you guys that, so if you are taller, you can decide if this is gonna be too short for you. Let me know if you guys have any questions, okay? Otherwise, I'm just gonna run through everything in my carousel. Okay, with the dress, I paired them with these chunky low heels, which I love. I feel like the chunky low heels are just a lot more comfortable than the stilettos or just the pointy heels in general, the taller ones. This is like a, hmm, maybe like a four inch heel and then the square toe which is perfect because I have wide feet too. They're strappy. And then they kind of come around your ankle like this and they cross in the back. 
If you guys want to see what it looks like, I'm going to post it to my Instagram, okay? You guys can follow me on there. It's Darren, D-A-R-I-N, Nicole. Um, what else do we have? I'm going to show you. Right, Christina? Okay, I'm just like hopping everywhere. So, another thing that I just did was reorganize underneath my bathroom sink. And you guys are going to see what it looked like before because I did a video of it. Well, let me show you this organizer. And I just got, look how clean. What do you guys think? Okay, I didn't even realize this until after I was done recording and making the voiceover and doing everything that this is adjustable, the height. So it has like these little um, metal pieces that you push in and you can adjust and, you know, make it taller or shorter. Also this, is a drawer. I knew that part. So it's a drawer and it comes in a pack of two. But you can also do a single one if you'd rather. And then it has these side hooks, which I haven't really found use for them. Maybe I could put some hair ties on there. What do you guys think? Let me know. And then it comes, each one comes with a side storage. Yeah, isn't it nice? Christina. I'm gonna show you the before in the video and it's horrible. So yeah, this just looks a lot more organized and nicer. And then it also comes in black too. So black, white, and then you can do the single, which I think is $19.99 or the double. I can't remember how much the double is. Uh, they don't run wide, Carolyn. Are you talking about the shoes? No, they don't run wide. They are just square toe, so I feel like there's just more room if you have wider feet. Uh, little face cloths. Oh, yeah, I have those. Maybe I'll put them on there. Yes. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions. Thanks for the question, Carolyn. Pam, crafty dude, thank you so much for the follow. Okay, so that. And then I, my white one, I think, is out in the kitchen because, like I said, I wore it yesterday when we went out to dinner. But I can show you the brown one, the brown bag. Let me set back up. Okay. So here's the bag that I have in the carousel. Um, I also have it in white. I have both colors. The strap. Is it in here? Yeah. Sometimes I keep this strap in here. Sometimes I just kind of mixed in with my other bags. So you can wear it just as a handbag, which I like to do. This is how I wore it yesterday. You guys will see it in my Instagram reel. Or sometimes I like to use it as a crossbody bag. It kind of just depends on my outfit. You can just hook the straps on like that. And then this part is adjustable. It's a small little crossbody bag, but also a handbag. Like I said, depending on the outfit. But yeah, that's everything in the carousel. Let me know if you guys have any questions. It's not showing that you guys are clicking on the shorts, but I promise you these shorts are so comfy and cute. I don't know if it's on um, lightning deal or something. It looks like it is, but it says 0% claimed. If you're just now hopping in and you guys want me to show you something specific, let me know. I can also try on the wedding guest dresses if you want me to. I'm more than happy to do that if there's a specific one that you're interested in. Let me know. Other than that, I'll just hang out for a minute. I'm gonna sit on the floor and chat with you guys. I'll show one of the wedding dresses again. Guest dresses. If you're looking for some guest dresses. The shorts look comfy. The sweater I'm buying. I need it. I love pullovers. Like, I can live in them all the time. That's all I want to wear. Anytime I go into my closet, I'm like, hmm, what pullover should I wear today? Because I'm always cold, Christina. Thank you so much for the follow. My ember mug died. It's been hot for like the past two hours. Here's the wedding guest dress, if you guys missed it. It has a tie that comes around to the front. 
This one's super cute. Love the length on it. I love that it's more conservative too. Cause sometimes I like covering up my tattoo and just covering my shoulders as well. So this is what it looks like. It's not too long, not too short. I know, same. It's just so comfortable. Thank you so much for the follow, Casey. And then the other one, I got lipstick on my dress. I wore this for date night. This would make for another really cute wedding guest dress. It has like a midi cutout here. And it stays up really nicely. So it has this elastic piece. Same thing with the top, it's elastic. You can wear a strapless or you can do those sticky boobs. And then the bottom kind of tapers off. Like I said, it gets longer. It kind of looks like a two piece outfit, except it is connected on the side right here. Um, and then the shoes, what did Christina say? She said, me too. Things probably what I'll be wearing when we meet. I need the mug too. My coffee never gets finished. I know that used to happen to me all the time. I actually got one for my aunt recently. She loves it. And I decided to buy one because my grandma had one for a couple years and she would always talk about it. My cousin bought it for her like five years ago for Christmas. Um, it was a different, it's the same brand. It was just a different model because it's older now. Hi Leah, what's going on? But yeah, I ended up buying it around Christmas time because I was doing like Christmas gift ideas and I literally use my Amber mug every single day. I don't have it in the carousel, but I highly recommend to you guys if you are a mom or just busy in general because I feel like I never had hot coffee when my kids were little and I was a stay-at-home mom. And it keeps it hot, I think for like up to an hour and a half. I think it just depends on which one you get because there are different ones. Um, and there's different sizes. I think this is the 14 ounce. So yeah, it's a little clunky. That's my only complaint, but I'll deal with that to have hot coffee. Cause I'm telling you every sip just tastes like it just got done brewing. It's the best. It's a heated coffee cup. Yes. It's not in the carousel, Leah. Um, I can throw it in there for you guys, but it's app controlled. So you download an app and you can decide what temperature you want your coffee at. It's the coolest thing ever. Let me see if I can add it to the carousel for you guys. But like I said, my grandma has one and then I got one for my aunt and she loves it. Uh, where are we at? Ember mug. Oh, looks like they have a travel one too. I don't know how good that one is. So yeah, the battery usually lasts an hour and a half to two hours most. No, it's the best. Leah, it's, it's literally the best. My only complaint is that it's a little pricey. It's, it's pretty pricey actually. Um, so the one that I have is, I think it's 172, but... And this is like the 14 ounce, I think. I'm gonna add it to the stream. But there's also this other one, which is the one that my grandma has. It's like the older model. It's 108. I'm gonna put it in there too. Um, and she likes that one just fine. So just depends if you want like the more updated model or if you're okay with the older one. Cause I think they have like maybe different battery lives, different temperature controls. I'm not really sure. Definitely look into it. I'm gonna highlight it. I know that's what I'm saying. Um, but yeah, I've been kind of back and forth between drinking hot coffee and then also making espresso. Josh just got a French press. Have you guys seen those? I have so many different ways to make coffee in my house. We have a French press, we have a cold brew maker, espresso machine, um, coffee machine. <laughs> I love coffee. I was just telling Josh earlier actually that we should do a video on the French press because it tastes so good out of there. I feel like it's perfect if you're going camping or just on the go, you need to make coffee quickly. Um, yeah, I think it's a Stanley, I'm not sure. What are you guys doing today? Leah, Christina, anything exciting? Casey? If you guys wanna see anything in the carousel, let me know. 
I showed everything, but I'm willing to hop around. I have a French press. I know, yes, it is so good. So I think we ended up buying it because of Kat. I think we went to like the cabin last year around her birthday or maybe it was around, around Ryan's birthday. And they had one I was like, I need this. Brandy said, me too. I love a coffee press, mocha pot, so many different. I've never heard of a mocha pot. Brittany, thank you so much for the follow. Brandy, thank you so much for the follow. Let me know if you guys want me to show you anything in the carousel, okay? You have to tap shop. Um, I don't, that's a new feature. I don't know, okay, wait, maybe you guys can tell me. If you're watching this live, is the carousel just automatically displayed? Because I know if you come later on, like reference my live stream at a later time, the carousel goes away. I'm trying to like figure out what to tell you guys because I want you to be able to find things easily. Um, it's going to be 100 this weekend. Oh, wow. Wait, Leah, are you in Arizona? I'm trying to remember. I, you're in here all the time. And I like, for some reason, I get your life mixed up with um, Katie's. I think it's because you both come into my live streams. Yes, I am, okay. Oh, wow. I heard it's been really cold there. Jack's on spring break and today's the Boston Marathon. Oh, wow. It's raining over there. So are you guys gonna go? Like, can you go and watch? I'm pretty sure, right? Um, It pops up randomly with items, but the shop thing is there also. Oh, okay, interesting, good to know. Good to know. Um, what's the weather this weekend for us? And let me see. It's Monday and we're already talking about the weekend. <laughs> my stepdad and my brother and my stepdad's girlfriend is coming into town. I say my stepdad. My mom and my stepdad aren't together anymore, but I always say I call my stepdad because he raised me. Um, let me see what the weather is. It is... Oh yeah, it's gonna be in the 80s all week. High of 80s, low of 60. That's pretty much our weather. I feel like that's what it is consistently here in Florida. Okay, that's everything. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. I'm trying to do shorter live streams so that if you guys follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you're able to come over and find things easily. I just feel like it's better this way. And let me know if you guys have feedback and you want me to do something different, I'm totally for it. Totally about making the shopping experience easier for you guys. So if you like the longer live streams, we could totally do that. If you have a specific category, um, let me know. I know a lot of people like home, but I just have so much fun with fashion. I don't know, I just enjoy it a lot more. I feel like it's easier to talk about. Have a great day, Leah. Yes. Thank you for hopping in. I appreciate you. I'll be at live again tomorrow, most likely. I'm gonna do a bathing suit haul. We have some really cute bathing suits. Look, I should just show you guys really quick. I'm just gonna show you a sneak peek. And then we also have some swimsuit cover-ups. So I'll show you a little bit of those. Okay. How cute is this? There's a little front tie cut out. It's a one piece. I've been digging one pieces lately. Love that color. I haven't even tried these on yet. Um, this one, one piece as well. It's like this little frilly sleeves. And then this one is so cute. Bright yellow with high waisted bottoms are so fun this is a little bit outside my comfort zone like the super bright colors like this and the floral pattern but I think it's gonna look really cute on yeah they're new I haven't tried them on yet and then we got some cover-ups let me show you we have this cover-up again I haven't tried these on yet so I like to hang stuff up so that they can kind of get unwrinkled. And sometimes I have to steam things. Like this is a whole process <laughs> because I can't try it on and show it to you guys like straight out of the packet package if it's all wrinkled. This one was super wrinkled when I took it out. So we have that cover up. 
And then this one, these two are from last year and I really love them. Hold on. This one. That cover up and then we have this one. I've had this one for like three years and I love it. So cute. So yeah, that's what's coming up. We have that and then I'm gonna do travel favorites soon too because I'm going on a trip to New York for work with Amazon. That's in May. So I just bought some travel favorites too I'm gonna share with you guys. And yeah. Thanks, Christina. Okay, I will see you guys on my next live stream. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Bye, have a good Monday.